Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Devin Torres, and I am back in the mix again today with another quick video. Now, just a few days ago, I posted a video on YouTube, and in the comments section, I had a couple of people say, hey, would you show us how to set up a VPN? Not only that, I had a few people hit me up on Instagram, and they asked the same thing. So I thought about it, and I said, you know, I talk about VPNs in almost every video. I tell you that before you use any of the apps that I show you on this channel or before you use the internet period, you should consider using a VPN. But it's been a long time since I actually broke it down and showed you how to set the VPN up on your devices. So I'm going to do that here today. I'll make it quick. I'll get to the point. Now, I realize that there might be a few people out there who still don't know what a VPN is. And the easiest way that I could explain it is that a VPN, which is also known as a virtual private network, it's basically something that helps you to remain anonymous while you're online. All right. It does this by masking your IP address. So instead of making it seem as though I am in Florida, it makes it appear as though I'm in Spain or Turkey or the Netherlands or any of these other places that I wish I could go and visit. But that's not the point. The point is that a VPN helps you to remain anonymous. Now, another way to describe a VPN is imagine I'm driving down the web's super highway and I'm in my convertible and then I go into the VPN tunnel, which encrypts my data. And then I come out on the other side as a minivan. I got tinted windows and all that stuff. You can't even tell that it's me driving the van. All right. So I get to my destination. I collect all my data and then I drive back through the tunnel. I get encrypted again. Now I come out as a U-Haul and then I pull back into my big garage and I unload my data. Now, all you saw was me going into the VPN tunnel. But after that, you don't really know what I was doing. Now, I realize that might be a terrible example. And if it is, then please forgive me. But if you want some more information on VPNs, then you can always visit my website. I'll leave the link down below and you can check out VPNs and compare prices and compare services on your own. All right. Now, it doesn't really matter to me which VPN service you decide to use. There's a lot of fantastic companies out there. You have IP Vanish, you have Nord Express. I happen to be using CyberGhost VPN. And regardless of which company you use, it should pretty much be the same. The setup should be similar. All right. Now that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. Now, the very first thing you'll need to do is quite obvious. You'll need to sign up for a VPN service. Now, I'll leave a link down below in the description area and you can click on that link. It'll take you to Cyber Ghost VPN's website or you can visit one of my websites, simplycody.com, simplestreamswithaz.com or rokusecrets.com. Now, the choice is yours. It doesn't matter, but all roads lead to this spot on CyberGhost VPN's website. Now, I really like the way they have their site laid out because they have all the information that you need just right here in your face. Big old button there. Just click and get CyberGhost VPN if you want. <laughs> now, they also have a list of all of the compatible devices that CyberGhost will work with. And if you're still not quite sold, they have some more information here on the page to help you make an informed decision. But let's say you've already decided that you want to get CyberGhost VPN. Just click on the button there and it'll take you to this screen. Now, once you're here, you can make a decision on which package or which plan you'd like to choose. Now, I'm just kind of sitting here looking at it. I have the uh, $12.99 monthly plan, but this uh, two year plan actually looks pretty good. I might switch it over to this one. But anyway, after you make your decision, you want to click on the button there that says get plan and then it'll take you to the payment screen. Now, once you're here, you just want to look over the details. And if you look here at the top, you'll see that normally for 26 months, you would pay over three hundred and thirty seven dollars. But 
because you're taking advantage of this 83% discount, you're getting it for only $58.50. Now, that's a fantastic deal. So at this point, you just go up here at the top and choose your method of payment. Now, if you scroll down the page just a little bit, you'll see that they have a few add-ons that you could choose to add to your package. Some of this stuff looks pretty good, so you might want to check it out. But after you make your decision on the add ons, then just go down here, enter your payment information, and then you want to select buy now. Now, after you make your purchase, it's going to put everything into motion. It will automatically create your account. And if I remember correctly, I think they send out an email and in that email, it has your username and a temporary password. And then once you go in there and log in for the first time, you can create your own password. I'm pretty sure this is how they do it still. But if something's changed, someone please let us know down below in the uh, comment section. All right, now that you've signed up for service and created your account, the next step in the process is to install the application onto your devices. Now, if you're gonna put this on a Fire Stick or a Chromecast on your iPhone or any type of Android device, whether it's a smartphone, a tablet, or a TV box, then you don't necessarily have to come out here to their website to download the application. You can simply visit your device's app store and download it from there. But there are a few situations in which it's just easier to come out here and install it from the website. For example, I looked in the Microsoft App Store, but the CyberGhost application is not available there as of today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to visit their website. I'm going to go up there to the top of the page and click where it says VPN apps. And then I'll just go over here and select the Windows VPN. And once I'm here on this page, then I'm just going to go up here and click the download link. And then if you look down in the bottom left corner of the screen, you'll notice that the installation file is downloading onto my computer. Now, in a lot of situations, after it finishes downloading, it'll open up automatically. If not, just click that little arrow and then click open. And all you have to do at this point, my friends, is follow the on-screen instructions. OK, so I got this pop up. I'm going to click accept. It's going to install the application onto my device. Just hang out. Be patient. You'll get another pop up. I'm just going to agree and continue and boom. There you have it, folks. We have successfully installed the CyberGhost software onto our Windows computer. All right. I told you it would be easy. Now, if you notice in the bottom right portion of the screen, I have this little pop out box. This is where you could log into your account from your Windows computer. And this is also where you'll go whenever you want to log into the VPN. All right. You can just come out here and click the button and it will connect you to the best available server. Or if you wanted to, if you're like me, I have some favorites saved in here. So I'm just going to click here. And then if you notice here, I have some uh, servers that I favorited. I don't even know if that's a word, but anyway, there are my favorites. Or I could click where it says see all servers and I could choose from the list of everything that they offer. All right. Now it's even easier to install this on a fire stick. All you'd have to do is go to the home screen, scroll over, select find, and then click on search. It'll bring up this uh, virtual keyboard and all you have to do is type in cyber ghost and you don't even have to type the whole word in. Once you see it in the list down there, just click on it. And then if you look under apps and games, you'll see the cyber ghost VPN application there. All you have to do at this point, my friends, is just click where it says get and it will begin to install the application onto your Fire TV devices. Now, it shouldn't take very long, but after the app finishes installing, I want you to go ahead and open it up. Now, whenever you open up the app for the very first time, you'll see this message. Go ahead and read through it if you'd like. But once you're finished, hit agree and continue. And then it should take you to this login screen. Now, you could just follow the on-screen instructions and visit that link up there at the top. 
cgvpn.info forward slash link from like your phone or from your computer. You could just pull up a browser, type it in, log into your account, and then you could link your device this way. You could just go down here where it says CyberGhost VPN for Amazon Fire TV. And when you select it, it'll give you the opportunity to enter the code that's displaying on your Amazon Fire TV device. All right, just type in the code, hit save. It should process it. And then all you'd have to do is hit validate pin. And then it should go ahead and register your device. Now, another way to do this is the old fashioned way, which is to just click where it says open regular login and then type in your username and password. This way you can skip the extra steps of pulling up the browser and you can just log in directly from your device. Now, once you're here, it works pretty much the same as what I showed you before. If you had some servers that you had already added into your favorites, you could find it here or you could scroll over here and select countries. And then you could just go through the entire list of available countries and pick your server that way. Or you could just click the button and allow the app to choose the best location for you. Now, the first time you connect, you'll get this connection request pop up. Just hit OK. And then it should connect you to your server. And just like that, folks, you have become anonymous. <laughs> All right. Now, it works exactly the same when you're installing the app on your iPhone. You just go into the Apple App Store, find the CyberGhost app, download it. You follow the same process, just log in. It works exactly the same way on an Android device. It doesn't matter if it's a smartphone, a tablet, a Android TV box or a Chromecast. It's still the exact same thing. You're just going to install the application from the Play Store, log in and that's it. You're done. All right. Now, all of this stuff is pretty straightforward. I don't anticipate you having any problems, but if you do, you can reach out to the fine people over at CyberGhost. They are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you run into any issues, don't hesitate to go ahead and hit them up. All right, folks, that's all I have time for today. Hopefully you found this video to be useful. And if you like the video, then you already know what I want you to do. Go down below and crush that like button for me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, after you subscribe to the channel, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll know whenever I drop new videos. Now, if you have some extra time, please visit one of my websites. I have simplycody.com. I have simplestreamswithaz.com and I have rokusecrets.com. All right. So check out any and all of my websites. You'll find more content just like this on the websites. And if you want to, you can even follow me on Instagram. That's at D Torres. I'll be sure to leave all my info down below. But that's all I got for today. As always, folks, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedules to spend a moment with me. I really appreciate it. I'm out. Peace.